So, what's today? December 18th. So we're 18th. So, we've got the cabinets in. You can see we've got the, the 1830, 18. So, we're still indecisive. Uh, trying to figure out whether we're going to put a microwave drawer in here or not. But either way, we got the power, so it doesn't really matter. We can make that determination at a later point in time. So, we're going to put the wall cabinets up. So, you come around here. So, we got everything in. We've got 21, 36 corner. 27, 36, sink base. So the sink base has to be your cooktop. So you got your cooktop, you got your pot filler for the cooktop, and you got your power for the vent. Come over, you got 18 inch drawer, 24 inch dishwasher. And then above here is gonna be a 30, 36 inch wall over here, actually. 36 inch wall, which will be come, come to about here. 24 inch corner cabinet and then a nine inch cabinet on the other side, wall cabinet. So come over, so you have a 36 inch cabinet here, window, put that in the spring, sink base, cabinet, I gotta take these off still. And then uh, get your hook up for a dishwasher, luckily enough, but just swing right around, so I don't have to do anything. And then uh, <coughs> plenty of room, got a double sink, uh, what is it, a 80-20, so it's about 12 inch deep on the big part and about 8 inches on the small part so you fit the disposal underneath that. And you got an 18 inch door, 9 inch door which will be um, a huge, the whole door will actually slide out so they won't pivot. They won't pivot on the European inches, the whole thing will slide out and then you'll be able to access from both sides the splices. Slide that back in, 30 inch, the 6 inch independent swivel. Um, Barren. Quarters and then a 21 inch uh, single door cabinet. So then we'll come over here and we'll set on that door. So this is this is drying right now, so you got the feed board. So what I did was on the back to shore it all up, put, put three eighths inch birch. Um, then we'll under that, on the bottom, pretty much right here, OSB, just for the filler. Use the birch because you got these corbels, solid, solid maple corbels, and that'll go there to support the, um, the granite. So the, the solid birch will be a much more, a much stronger than OSB. So we'll have two of those, one essentially right here and then one about right here. Um, and then that will go actually be, they won't be level with the countertop, they'll actually be three quarters inch down because I'm gonna run maple for the full surface across this whole thing. I put a bevel edge on, on the under, underside of the, the maple. So, and then also here, there'll be another corbel right in the center of this cabinet to support it. So that's what we look. And then the beadboard, the beadboard will come around and cover this as well and butt right up against this overhang. So the whole the bead board and everything will get stained a uh, like a cherry, um, and then over here we're gonna run pretty much bead board from here to here in the same manner, and that'll be cherry. So and then the tie-in will be both both corners, both sides will have the cherry, and then when I build the uh, the huge hood. It'll all be out of maple and then it will stay in that cherry, so that'll get the time in between everything. When we get the piece of granite? What's that? Yep, so tomorrow they come um, to do the template for the granite. So essentially, the way it works is it'll go inch and a half overhang over here, go all the way over inch and a half over here. So it's about three feet peninsula here, all along the back, it'll come, come along here. Along here, inch and a half overhang of the whole thing, and it'll, it'll be 12 inches out, which is essentially where that line is. It'll be the 12 inch overhang, and then that'll come over, and then we'll have to figure out whether we want like an angle. I think we probably want an angle here. Put that in, and then it'll be a, a pretty much a uh, 15 inch overhang, which is essentially where this line is, a little bit in, and then it will come, and it'll actually come to about right here. So.
two portals pretty much support it. Granted, it can stand on its own for a 12 inch span. Any more than 12 inch span, then it's got to be supported. So it'll be 15 inches. The portals are five and three quarters. And to beef that up even more, I'm going to take seven inches of maple and run it along the top, especially for the back part. Um, and I'll beef it up. So they come tomorrow to do the templates, which from what I understand, they do it all out of OSB and plywood. So to get the actual physical template and they know where to cut it. And then they'll come back on Tuesday after Christmas, the 27th, and install the countertop. So uh, next weekend, I'll clean everything up, tighten it up, we can see. Nothing, nothing moving. It's solid. Screwed, screwed all the face frames together. Camera sunk them in. So all the face frames are screwed together. And then I uh, was with pocket, pocket, uh, pocket hole screws. And then even further, I took a half inch ply, put it in between each one, because it's essentially a half inch in between the, the uh, actual cabinets, and then screwed that together. So the cabinets are completely set up, um, it's solid. And then uh, on, on this side here, since it was an end cabinet, I'm going to swim around here. Uh, I mean, there was nothing really to tie it to, it was a sink base, so the whole back's wide open. So I used hurricane, hurricane straps. And uh, ain't moving. So that should support the uh, 1,500 pounds of granite.